I'm Maggie from BackToTheLandLiving.com and today I'm going to be showing you how I season my cast iron pans and pots outdoors in the barbecue. And so the reason I'm doing these outdoors is because we lived in a barn loft apartment with a little toaster oven and they won't fit in the oven to bake. And also when you're seasoning cast iron sometimes they can smoke and I don't want to do it in someone else's oven and cause their kitchen to get smoky. So if you want to try seasoning your cast iron but you don't want to get your kitchen smoky or if you're doing some other things outdoors you could try doing it in your barbecue. So some things you're going to need for seasoning your cast iron is your pot or your pan that needs seasoning, a heat source, so a barbecue or an oven, and also oil so, or fat. So I'm going to be using lard today and some thyme. So this will take about a couple hours depending on how many layers of seasoning you're going to be putting on, so how bad you're conditioning your pans in. I'm going to be doing two of my cast iron items. I'm going to be seasoning a frying pan that I have. This is an antique cast iron frying pan and I was given it about a year ago as a gift and it's been working good but it's been starting to flake off a bit, the seasoning, and I never seasoned it when I first got it, I just started using it, and so it needs a seasoning because some of the bare cast iron is starting to show through. And the other thing I'm gonna be seasoning today is this crock or bean pot. I was given this as a Christmas gift this year for my in-laws, and it's in pretty good condition on the outside, but on the inside there's a bit of rusting, and so I'm gonna be seasoning it so I can start using it. So for seasoning your cast iron, there's about five steps you're gonna to need to take. The first step is to clean your cast iron really well. And so for this instance, this one that's flaking a bit, I'm just going to wash it off really good. I'm gonna use soap and water. Even though you're not supposed to use soap on cast iron after it's been seasoned, before you season it, you wanna wash it really good to make sure that your seasoning's adhering to something that's really clean. And so I'm gonna wash this up and for my pot that's been rusted a bit, I'm going to use a metal scrub pad and some vinegar to help clean that. So the vinegar helps to soften up the rust and get it off the pot. And so you want to make sure that all the rust is gone and that you get the pot really clean after it's, the rust is gone. Wash it also with some soap and water. So now that the cast iron pot and pan are all clean, it's time to season them. So the first thing I have going is I have my barbecue to about 400 degrees Fahrenheit. And I'm just gonna stick it in for a minute just to warm up to make sure that it's absolutely dry, that no moisture is left from washing. So I'm just gonna stick this in and just leave it for a few minutes. So I just took my pan out of the barbecue and it's warm to the touch, so I know it's good and dry, but it's not too hot to touch. So for seasoning, I'm gonna use some pig lard. You can use any type of oil, like just vegetable oil, or you could use tallow from like beef tallow, but I'm gonna use pig lard. So all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take some lard, and I'm just gonna coat all over the pan, so all over the handle, the inside, the outside, all over it in a thin layer. So you don't want to put too thick of layer on because if you do too thick a layer, it won't turn out as good, it'll smoke more, and it could get a little gummy or sticky. So if you ever season your cast iron and you find that when you go to put it away, it's sticky, it's probably because you had too thick of a layer of, of oil or fat on it and it turned out that way. So you want to coat all over the whole thing. And then I'm just going to take a clean rag and just, just wipe it off so that, not completely off, but just go over it so there's not a th any thick layers where it's thick, but just a thin layer of lard all over. And I'll do this for both my pan and my pot. So I have it all greased and now I'm going to put it into the barbecue. So you want to put it in upside down so that any larger oil that accumulates while it's heating up doesn't sit in the bottom of the pot 
because if it sits in the bottom of the pot, it could get some bumpy spots and a thicker part. So you want to put it in upside down. So now that the pan is in the barbecue, I'm going to leave it in there for about an hour at 400 degrees Fahrenheit. And I'm just going to let it bake. And this is going to take the lard or whatever oil you're using and make a nice hard seasoned layer. And you may need to repeat this process a couple times. So some like two or three times if you have a pretty bare cast iron to begin with. So I'll check it after an hour to see if it has enough seasoning as I'd like it, if it's black enough and thick enough. And I probably will do it one more time after that. So I'm just going to let it set for an hour and then come back to it. So after an hour had passed, I turned off the barbecue and let it cool down. And now it's time to take the cast iron out. The pan turned out pretty good. It's not as dark as I would like it. There's some more some brown color than black. And so I'm going to do another layer of seasoning on it. The pot turned out pretty good as well. But it definitely needs another layer or two of seasoning to make it have a nice, dark, thick coating. So I'm going to repeat the process of putting lard on and then baking it in the barbecue until it has a nice, dark coat of seasoning that will be good for using for cooking and for frying. So I just pulled my cast iron out of the barbecue. They both have three layers of seasoning on them now. And they have a nice black finish and they're ready for cooking with. So both the pot and the pan took three layers of lard and then an hour of baking at 400 degrees in the barbecue. I definitely recommend baking them in the barbecue because I tried on my third layer in the oven inside my parents' house because I was getting cold out here. And I started smoking up the place and went back to the barbecue. So I definitely recommend the barbecue. It just saves your house from getting smoky and it's nice to do it out here. And it worked really well. Thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you on the next one.